Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you an update. We're working on something pretty cool. We've done five colors in the past and we've had a lot of requests for multi-material printing. So we decided that we would do something as unique as we could possibly do and we decided we would print with five different materials in the same print. So over here we have a Rova 3D and a bottle of salad dressing. Is you always have to have random salad dressing in the middle of an R&D area. Anyway, so you can see here we have, uh, if you can see this. So we have PLA here, and we have wood here, and on this side, carbon, carbon fiber, and this is hips and this is ABS. And now if you look at the print, printing all of them in the same print. This is actually, I mean, I made this, I'm not a graphic design artist or anything like that. It's a pretty utilitarian print. It is a donut. And it seems to be working quite well. So you can see it's switching out the materials and printing them down. And yes, they will stick to each other when it's done. I will give you a demonstration of that. But I just wanted to let you all know that we are uh, still doing some interesting, unique things here. I don't know any other printer that can print with five different extruders, let alone five different materials. And each one has a unique temperature as well. The carbon fiber is printing at four, uh, excuse me, 245 Celsius, the hips at 235, the ABS at 230, the PLA is being printed at 200. So that represents quite a contrast there. The carbon is the hottest one that we have at 245 and the PLA the coolest one at 200. So there's a 45 degree difference and the wood is 215 I believe. And the bed is actually at 140. That's what we have it set to. I think it's topping out at 130-ish. And we had to spray it with hairspray. See we've got a bottle of hairspray here. This is Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray, and we lightly sprayed it, let it dry, and applied that several times. And that has helped the PLA as well as the carbon stick much, much better. The hips and the ABS stuck to the capped on tape bear quite well. But one of the bigger challenges in doing a multi material print like this is not every material will stick to the same surface. So people have enough of a difficult time getting one material to stick to their print bed. You know, do I use Kapton tape? Do I use blue painters tape or whatever? Well, now imagine you have five. They all stick to different things and you have to get them to stick at the same time to the same bed. So that's been a bit of a challenge here. I've been working on this for a few days. And finally, the fruits of, fruits of that labor are evident in the printing that we have going on here that they are all sticking to the bed at the same time. The wood's going to be pretty cool. That should be able to be sanded afterwards. Okay, well that's my update. Thanks. Bye.